The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 is one of the most technologically advanced devices we have ever seen. It's a smartphone that transforms into a tablet-sized gadget, and it's a rather decent smartphone at that. Samsung was one of the first big manufacturers to perfect the formula that makes folding and flip phones so appealing. In addition, OnePlus and Google, among others, have made steps to follow Samsung's trend. However, if you want the best folding smartphone, you must have a Samsung Z Fold. So you should purchase a Z Fold 5, correct? Well, not really. While the Z Fold 5 is amazing, there is another gadget you should consider if you plan to buy a foldable phone in the next few months. The device is, of course, the Z Fold 6. While the Z Fold 6 is not yet official, there has been a lot have been revealing practically everything we can expect from Samsung's latest folding gadget. What we've seen suggests more than just an improvement. This year, Samsung is making some significant adjustments that could have far-reaching implications for your purchase. So should you buy the Z Fold 5 now or wait until the Z Fold 6? We investigated the most credible specs to have a better understanding of the question. The design is critical to a foldable phone's success. It must not only look good, but it must also have a near-perfect mechanism and hinge to withstand the hundreds of folds it will experience over its lifetime. Samsung has solved that with the Z Fold handsets, and we don't expect the Z Fold 6 to innovate in a way that distinguishes it from the Z Fold 5, whose hinge was updated only last year. However, this does not imply that there is no space for improvement. One of the most common themes in this is a significant shift in the size and design of the gadget. No, it's still roughly phone-shaped, but the Z Fold 6 appears to be slightly shorter and wider than the previous year's model. The Z Fold 5's long and narrow cover display is contentious. While some enjoy it, others find it a genuine inconvenience. Making the Z Fold 6 squatter will reduce the odd 23.1 into 9 aspect ratio to a more typical 20 into 9. This also points to a change in aspect ratio, but no one seems to agree on whether this means that display sizes will change. Early leaks stated that the cover display could grow from 6.2 inches to 6.4 inches, but further renders from OnLeaks indicated that the display size would remain intact. OnLeaks is a well-known leaker with a long history, but so does Ice Universe, who appeared even later to announce that the cover display would be increased to 6.3 inches. The inner display would remain 7.6 inches, but with a significantly more square aspect ratio due to the dimension adjustments. So what does this mean for your purchase? A change in appearance is subjective. Thus, the choice between flat and curved sides is ultimately up to personal preference. But what about a shorter, wider cover display? The Z Fold 5 strange aspect ratio makes it not the best screen for watching videos, and the material frequently feels oddly constricted. We recommend that you wait and see if the Z Fold 6 delivers a change in dimensions, as we believe those adjustments will benefit you. There isn't much to disclose here that isn't already expected, as it's hardly surprising that the Z Fold 6 will have improved specifications. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is expected to find a home here, with the Z Fold 6 following in the footsteps of the Galaxy S24 in terms of CPU performance. There's been no announcement on RAM specifications, but we wouldn't expect less than 12 gigs, which is the same as the Z Fold 5. However, storage tiers have been leaked and they indicate that the same 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and one terabytes options will be offered. So where does this leave the two devices? It's not surprising that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 will be the more powerful phone, thanks to the newer Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Will it make a visible difference? The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip in the Z Fold 5 is highly powerful and capable of handling any task from demanding programs to the latest 3D games like Call of Duty. The interior display presents more of a challenge than a standard smartphone, but the older hardware is still more than capable of handling it. The final result is that the spec should not be your primary reason for waiting for the Z Fold 6, since they are unlikely to be a significant upgrade. Even though the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will technically push benchmark numbers higher, there will be no noticeable difference in real-world use. There may be an influence on battery life, but we'll discuss that later. Samsung is a market leader in camera phones, with one of their phones frequently appearing at the top of our best camera phones list. The Galaxy Z Fold isn't typically Samsung's emphasis for photography excellence. That honor goes to the Galaxy S Ultra, but it would be incorrect to argue the Z Fold falls short in this regard. The Fold 5 features some impressive cameras.
the main camera system is a rear-facing triple lens system that includes a 50 megapixels main lens, a 10 megapixels telephoto lens, and a 12 megapixels ultra-wide lens. There is a 10 megapixels selfie lens above the cover display and a 4 megapixels under display camera abbreviation as UDC beneath the inner display. The UDC is as lackluster as ever, but the rest of the camera lenses are strong, and while they don't compete with any of Samsung's Galaxy S models, they generally don't disappoint and create great-looking photographs in most situations. The Z Fold 5 has the same 4,400 mAh battery as the Z Fold 4, so it's safe to say the Z Fold 6 is ready for an improvement. According to leaks, a larger battery is on the coming, with the updated handset reportedly packing an extra 200 mAh. That's not a significant increase, but when you're powering a gigantic inside display, every little bit counts. Furthermore, keep in mind that the predicted Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor will have increased power efficiency than previous chipsets, resulting in a longer battery life for the Z Fold 6. Aside from that, there have been few speculations of further potential rises. Unfortunately, there is no mention of any increases in the pricing rate. The Z Fold 5 is limited to a 25-watt charging rate, which is simply unacceptable for such a high-end product. Hopefully, Samsung will do the right thing and raise the Z Fold 6's charge rate, but there is currently no evidence that this will happen. There isn't much to say about the Direct software. The Z Fold 6 is likely to come with Android 14, just as the Z Fold did with Android 13. Both devices will have the same software as Samsung's One UI, so you can expect comparable experiences on both. The Z Fold 6 is likely to incorporate Galaxy AI, but it is already coming to the Z Fold 5, so it isn't a big issue. However, the Z Fold 6 is expected to have an advantage in terms of software upgrades. Samsung recently increased its update commitment to an amazing seven years, implying that the Z Fold 6 will likely receive significantly more upgrades than the Z Fold 5, which receives an admittedly impressive five years of updates. However, if you buy the Z Fold 5 today, you'll get four years of updates, with the Z Fold 6 adding three more years. If lifespan is essential to you, as it should be for a smartphone this pricey, the Z Fold 6 appears to have a significant advantage here. Typically, we expect to see a new Z Fold device in August, but this year may be different. Samsung is preparing for an early release of the Z Fold 6. How early? Instead of mid-August, we could see the new smartphone in early July, with smart money on July 10. Why so early? And Samsung intends to deliver the smartphone before the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. Samsung has previously run marketing campaigns during the Olympic Games, and 2018 could be no exception. So, should you wait for the Z Fold 6, or should you get the Z Fold 5 now? Normally, we'd say it comes down to how important the alleged upgrades are to you, but the suspected existence of the Z Fold 6 Ultra complicates that answer. At the moment, even the most reputable and well-known leakers are unsure if the specs and designs correspond to the Z Fold 6 or a prospective Z Fold 6 Ultra, making a definitive response difficult. However, with the probable introduction of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 so soon, it's best to keep your powder dry for now. Even if the potential of a Z Fold 6 Ultra does not appeal to you, and the Z Fold 5 appears to be a strong option regardless of upgrades, the chances of last year's model receiving discounts are considerable. With the Z Fold 5 costing well over four figures, these discounts might be extremely welcome and save you a significant amount of money. So our current advice is to wait and see what Samsung announces at its upcoming unpacked event. With the Z Fold 6 anticipated to debut as early as July and possible reductions on the Z Fold 5, you have little to lose and everything to gain. So tell us what you think about this comparison in the comments section. Then I will see you in the next one. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.